like the most six, um, and it sounds like kind of like the off, and then with the plastic. The pl plastic cart. Yeah, right. plastic cart. Yeah. You can kind of still hear the sound, but it's kind of like with the this, little yeah. vibration kind of thing. It's, a, it's like a rattle. And then with the metal, it sounds like kind of cool, like ringing. Yeah. Almost like having a little pedal. <laughs> or a bell, maybe. Yeah. And then with the humanly Humanly <laughs> hand, okay. <laughs> nice. Actually, I, I think you can also get the same effect, like read out the book, right? And then use it using our hand or something. Uh, well, I guess okay, like how about uh, like re remove the book and you? I think it's probably the same effect if you. Yeah. Oh, I really like that sound. They're knocking on the door. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like hands have more control. Okay. Like yeah. Yeah. You, you can easily um move across the strings and like. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, are people really fine with like getting their pianos prepared, like in? I I think it depends on some venues and people because sometimes um people are very concerned about um damaging the piano, so some concert hall don't let you proper piano, um, but if you do hear kind of damage or this little string while you're tapping the string, and then yeah. you have to re-string it. Yeah. And this is like a metal plate. What? Or... It's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> So there's three different ways that I'll show you today to um, make the plucking sound in piano. First one is my finger. Um, I'll just find the piano notes here and then put the pedal down and pluck. Uh, fingers are obviously kind of soft, so it makes it a... This is fing finger, not fingertip, right? Uh, finger, like tip. Okay, okay. Not, not uh, I mean the nail. Okay, finger nail, yeah. sorry. Because my fingers are obviously, I guess, compared to objects softer, it makes like a rounded sound. And if I use plastic, it makes it a little bit hotter. And then I yeah, it's sharper. Yeah, if I use this. It's, a, it's like a guitar uh, pick. Uh, yeah, picture, yeah, yeah. It's very, you know, sharp. And I guess really solid. Makes it really, really edgy, sharp. Okay, what 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 happens if you don't raise the damper? Um, I guess there like what what is the sound if the damper is down? Okay, so when you don't play anything and just pluck the notes, you can't resonate the notes. So unless if you want okay. that kind of yeah. you know dry kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> notes, but another way is silently press the keyboard to raise the damper, so it's not holding the string anymore, so you can still resonate the sound. Yeah. Another way is putting the damper pedal, okay. which you know raises this without you pressing the note. But yeah. then sometimes I'll put the pedal and press this key anyway to find the note that I want to pluck, so I can yeah. see the strings to pluck. Oh, nice. And then pluck. Okay. Okay. With the yeah, oh, this yeah. So um, the pl uh, can you pluck the string? Uh, and uh, what happens when you strum it like a guitar playing? One more way of, um, I guess, plucking the string is with the mallet. If I use the mallet, I can hit all three strings at the same time. So, in a way, it makes the sounds bigger and it'll probably resonate more. Okay, nice. Um, so, Yoshiko, can you tell us more about the uh, plucking at different parts of the piano strings? Sure. Uh, so if you pluck or do the glissandos on strings before the metal places, you'll get the pitch that's you know uh, relevant to the pitches on the keyboard. So if, if I want to make a sound of F, I just have to 
have to clap or tap on this one and then it'll make the same sound. But if I clap the notes at both this metal, you'll, at least on this set piano, it'll make the sound of major second clap, click clap. Major, major second? Yeah. Okay. So for example, if I, this is E, right? Yeah. So this string should make E. Above the metal should make the sound F sharp. No, I mean, yeah. Yeah, E to F sharp, yeah. Like this. Oh, uh, can you do that again? Can you do the before and uh, before and after? Yeah, so yeah it's, it's hard to find the. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to stick to the same string, right? So it's E, and then it should be F sharp. Yeah. Okay. So let's okay. find another note that's G next. So this is G. So if I clock this note, it should make the sound of G. Yeah. And okay. then this strings above the metal part should make the sound of A. It's a little bit out of yeah. tune, but we can see. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, G. it's like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that nice. Like can, can you do a, a glist, uh, like in. I, I'm actually interested to hear what, what yeah. happens on the metal. Okay, and so if you can do that. <laughs> on the metal part. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but then it's if very you do a good sound on this part, it's basically higher than what you'll hear on okay. the normal string part. Okay. Can you do the metal thing again? Well, I wouldn't want to use my fingers. Okay, so there are different stress bars in the pianos, and every piano has different positions for the stress bar. So when you're writing the glyph sound below within strings, you want to write the approximate notes for the glyph sound range, because sometimes um, you might have composer who write exact notes from here to here, but then, for example, for this piano, you can't glyph sound a certain. Okay. So just write the approximate notes. Okay. Uh, would you like to do a glissando, um, like from one note to another note? Uh, with, yeah, with the damper up and with the damper down and see how it sounds like. Okay, so with that and pedal with uh, this. Plectra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really pretty good. <laughs> if I put the pedal up, or if I just put this pedal down. All the dampers here are up because of the pedal. Yeah. Oh, the strings resonate. Kind of creepy. Wow. Okay. Okay. So when I press the hand down, the sound is like that. But if I put the hands out immediately, it makes it bigger. Nice. Um. So you basically you uh, pedal down, pedal down, and then. Yeah. I uh, put the pedal first yeah. before I put the hands. Uh. Do you want to do on the lower strings and see what's the... <laughs> wow, it's such a mysterious sound. And then... Nice. Doomsday is coming.